everyone. This is Mike. And I'm Michelle. And this is Lovey's Fat Life. And today we're checking out Stingray Adventure at Half Moon Key. We've done Stingray City before, but this is the first time ever doing this at Half Moon Key. We're going to give you some tips, tricks, tell if we think it, if it's worth it or not at the very end. But let me give you a little bit of a secret. We had a great time here. And Michelle, what do you... We had a lot of fun. We had a lot of fun. <laughs> so let's go ahead and check this out and uh, give you a few tips along the way. Thank you. So this excursion was booked through Carnival, and it was $49.99 a person. As you can see, the group sizing was about perfect. So here's the map of Half Moon Key. The top arrow is pointing at Stingray Adventure. The bottom is where the information uh, center is at. Uh, you'll meet in that area, kind of hang out, and then I'll call for your excursion. This is just some of the beautiful scenery that we pass by on the way to the Stingray Adventure. As you're taking the tram to Stingray Adventure, to the left you'll see this beautiful area. It's like a lagoon area, but they all have here the uh, jet skis that you can rent. Shoes or clothes up crocs because our stingrays love to suck on those. I'm serious. <laughs> now, if it's your fetish, then we don't judge. <laughs> <laughs> we are clothes. Now, when you put your fur up, you're going to get a fast. The way to put it on over your head, the long tail comes underneath your leg, stops in the front, and the next one goes around your waist and stops on the side. If you're not a good swimmer and you want to press down on this steam tube and blow into that hole to inflate the vest, if you're not a good swimmer. Okay, so hot shares, slippers all go in that locker, except you. Okay, okay, we need you to come back. All right, put your stuff in. All girls, no boys. Sorry, fellas, for that. Now, guys, all the rest of the girls are not. We have girls out there. We have the dark areas that are not moving, and yes, you can throw the corals, but please don't step on them because they are alive. Now, when you want to pet a stingray, you're only going to use the flat palm of your hand. You can massage them up and down, side to side, only on their wings. Avoid scratching with your nails. They do have a backbone, it is very sharp. It's like a razor blade, it can cut you. That's why you're only heading their wings up and down, side to side. Now once you get to the water, shallow areas over to your left, you can take your phones down with you, snap your pictures, then rest your phones on the rock, then stop the rock for a while. Are you ready to have some fun? Yes. yes. I'm gonna warn everybody before we get to the water, the water's freezing hot, so let's go. <laughs> Shuffle your feet, remember? So for the next couple of minutes, we're going to show you what it's like to snorkel in this area. This is a fenced in area. It's not the biggest area, but it's also not the smallest area I've seen. Uh, so that is something to remember. Uh, these stingrays are in captivity, uh, but the fish can come and go as they like. Um, but again, not a lot of coral. Uh, they talk about coral being out here. There's kind of like mounds of rocks with a little bit of coral on it. But there are a lot of fish in this area. Uh, you'll definitely see that when we start to feed the stingrays. They start coming from everywhere. But uh, plenty, plenty of views of the stingrays, and they'll come right up and touch you.
as you can see these stingrays are so beautiful to watch they are so graceful just gliding through the water um, we just love looking at them Something to note, if you are fearful of the rays or fish, um, just be aware they are not scared of you and they will go all around your legs and in between your legs. They are not scared to touch you. The staff encouraged us to hold the conks up so we could tell if it was male or female. So as you can tell, this is definitely a hands-on experience, an excursion with the stingrays. Um, you know, not only do they provide fish for you to feed them, but here they're going around at the very end, taking, you know, allowing you to take pictures and the stingrays are spitting on you. So some of them do spit more than others and they will hit you in the face of be, you know, be mindful of that one. And this one, man, they're just so cute in the face as well. Um, but yeah, let's show you a little bit more and then we'll wrap this up. I felt like this was a great excursion. Um, the instructions that the staff gave were very clear and concise. Um, I felt like the group sizing was wonderful, that everybody got to participate and got to kiss the rays and got to feed them. I felt like we all got attention and I enjoyed it a whole lot. What do you think, Mike? Yeah, I thought it was awesome as well. Uh, we've done Stingray City. That was great. It was a great view. That was more in the natural. Yeah, this was in captivity but 
the amount of time you were with the Stingrays was a lot more on this one versus Stingray City. So I definitely would do it again. If you've done it, uh, what's your thoughts and opinion on it? Uh, would you give us a shot? We did, and we thoroughly enjoyed it, loved it. Thank you. Please like and subscribe.